Okay, in this video, I wanna talk about the size of apiaries, but before I do that, just a couple of little reminders about them. Um, firstly, having them in a U shape is best for a couple of reasons. Um, they're much less likely to drift from hive to hive, um, but also it's easier to work with. You can back a truck up into the middle of the apiary and all hives are close enough um, so you don't have to walk too far to the truck. And if you're using lifting equipment, of course, you don't have to move the, the truck each time you want to pick up a beehive. You can just back in the top and reach them all from the same location. Now, the really complicated thing for New Zealand is, how many hives do you have in an apiary? And there's no real answer to that um, because the real answer is at some places in some location, probably 10 hives per apiary is, is all you want. Other places and other locations, you, we, you could probably put 100 hives and it's very hard to predict. But the things we do know is the further the bees have to fly to get their nectar sources, the slower they build up the amount of honey they will collect because they haven't used so much for fuel to fly backwards and forwards. So a real good measure that beekeepers have always used is when you drive into an apiary and it's a really hot day, <laughs> How much, how, how much dread you have in having to get out and put your bee suit on and go and do beekeeping. And that's typically why beekeepers have had about 20 hives per apiary. More that bases on management um, than what the bees need or what they can do to, do to forage. But with Manuka, there's been a tendency because you have to pay for apiary sites, well, a lot of beekeepers have to pay for apiary sites, put as many hives there as you can. But what will happen though is if you've got a certain number of hives, if you double it, it's likely to not increase the amount of honey you collect, it's probably going to decrease the amount of honey all of the colonies collect. And to give an example, we're doing work in a Kiefer orchard um, where we brought three groups of 30 hives in and put them on pollen traps. The first hives, pollen traps, they collected lots of pollen. The second group of hives, pollen traps, lots of pollen, the third group, nothing at all. We even had to take off all the traps to make sure we had them up the right way. But effectively what we had done is we'd got over the stocking rate for the area. So the last bees really couldn't find anything to collect. Now over a week or two, they went flying further apart, further away and still could collect it. And pollen's a little more sensitive to stocking rates and nectar because bees don't like to fly too far over it. But, but you can see the principle that if you've got a got a group of hives and you bring another one in the other group may quite be badly affected and, and in total they may all do so it's something to watch um, we know 20 hives in New Zealand seems to work um, but you want to think really carefully about it if you're going to put 100 or 200 hives on the same site because you may not end up getting more honey you may get less so in summary we don't really have a good answer for how many hives in an apiary because it's going to vary hugely between the season and the location. The 20 hives seems to fit for most people. And if you want to go higher than that, you need to think really carefully about it, about whether you're going to end up collecting less honey than if you hadn't had those extra beehives. hives.